Can't decide between renting and buying? Let's get this straight. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to this question. You might get attracted to home ownership or maybe the flexibility of renting. But don't worry, we are here to help you choose the best. Remember what Warren Buffett said, Price is what you pay, value is what you get. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will dive into one of the most important financial decisions you'll likely make. Should you buy a home or rent? Despite the evolving real estate trends and post-pandemic economic shifts, this question still needs to be looked at better. With factors like location, job stability, financial standing, and personal lifestyle coming into play, we're here to guide you through this decision-making process. So grab the pad, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. Why the question matters. This question has become more significant than ever before. With the rise of remote work and changing lifestyle preferences, many people are reconsidering their living arrangements. Here's why the discourse matters more now than ever. Unpredictable housing market. We have seen an unpredictable housing market, characterized by historically low mortgage rates, inventory shortages, and heightened buyer demand, all of which have contributed to soaring home prices. This trend has made the barrier to entry for potential homeowners significantly higher than in previous years. The Impact of Remote Work The widespread adoption of remote work in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic has also fundamentally transformed how we perceive our living spaces. With many companies offering remote or hybrid work options, employees are no longer tethered to a specific location for their jobs. This shift has made location independence a new variable in the renting versus buying equation. If you can work from anywhere, does it make more sense to invest in a property or to maintain the flexibility of renting? Would it buying in a less expensive area be more beneficial, or is the allure of city living still preferable, even if it means renting? These are questions that a growing number of individuals now find themselves asking. Future of Living In the face of these changes, the decision between renting and buying a home has become more complex than ever. The debate is not just about crunching numbers anymore. It's also about anticipating future trends and aligning one's choice with lifestyle preferences and future-proofing against uncertainties. As author Alvin Toffler once said, the future always comes too fast and in the wrong order. Navigating the ever-evolving landscape of housing requires an informed understanding of these trends and a careful evaluation of your circumstances and priorities. Are you one of those rethinking your living situation due to recent changes? Which factors are challenging your decision-making? Let us know in the comments below. Now let's start with the pros and cons of both buying and renting. The pros and cons of buying. Let's start with the appealing prospect of buying a home. Taking a leap into adulthood often means achieving financial independence, and for many, that includes having a place to call your own. The idea of owning your own home sounds truly appealing. However, like any major life decision, it's crucial to fully grasp the perks and possible pitfalls before diving in. First, let's talk about the pros of buying. Building equity. When you purchase a home, it's like planting a seed for a financial tree that typically grows with time. Even mortgage payment you make is like watering that tree, gradually increasing your home's equity, the portion of the house that truly belongs to you. This could turn out to be a hefty financial advantage down the line. According to recent data from the Federal Reserve, the average homeowner's net worth is over 40 times greater than that of renters. Fixed Costs With a fixed-rate mortgage, your monthly principal and interest payments remain the same for the life of the loan. This predictability is a significant advantage over renting, where landlords can increase rent each year. Stability in housing costs can help in better financial planning. Freedom and Flexibility Owning a home gives you the freedom to personalize your space as you see fit. Whether it's a fresh coat of paint, a new kitchen upgrade, or a landscaped backyard, the choice is yours. This freedom is something renters often lack. Potential for Rental Income If your property has extra space, you can rent it out to generate a passive income. In today's sharing economy, platforms like Airbnb make this easier than ever. But home ownership isn't all great and rosy. There are also some potential drawbacks to consider. Here are some of the cons of buying a home. Upfront and hidden costs. Buying a home involves significant upfront costs, including a down payment, closing costs, and moving expenses. Furthermore, as a homeowner, you're responsible for all maintenance, repair, and home improvement costs, which can add up over time. Lack of mobility. While owning a home provides stability, it also limits your ability to move freely for job opportunities or lifestyle changes. If you're in a stage of life where you foresee many changes or have a career that requires regular relocation, the process of selling a home and buying a new one could be cumbersome and expensive. Market Risk 
Though homes often appreciate over time, they can also depreciate due to factors like market downturns, neighborhood changes, or natural disasters. Homeowners bear the brunt of these risks. Long-term financial commitment. Owning a home requires a long-term financial commitment. Depending on your mortgage terms, you could be making payments for 15 to 30 years. This requires a steady income stream and may not be suitable for everyone. Interest and tax costs. While your monthly mortgage payment may seem like it's going directly into your pocket, a significant portion of it, particularly in the early years of your mortgage, goes towards interest payments. Plus, homeowners are responsible for property taxes, which can be a considerable annual expense. So buying a home can be a great investment and offers many benefits, but it also comes with considerable responsibilities and financial commitments. It's crucial to weigh these pros and cons carefully based on your personal situation and long-term goals. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found these insights helpful. The pros and cons of renting. Next, we navigate the world of renting, a popular choice for those who value flexibility or are not yet ready to take on the responsibilities of home ownership. Renting may not provide the same sense of permanence and ownership as buying a home, but it carries its own set of advantages and potential drawbacks. Let's dive into the benefits first. Flexibility. Renting offers unparalleled flexibility compared to home ownership. Moving cities for a job or a lifestyle change? No problem. With renting, you can pack up and move without the hassles of selling a property. This can be particularly advantageous for those in dynamic stages of their life or careers that demand mobility. Lower upfront and maintenance costs. Unlike buying a home, which requires a hefty down payment, the upfront costs of renting are typically much lower, often consisting of a security deposit and the first month's rent. Additionally, renters are generally not responsible for maintenance or repair costs. If the water heater breaks down or the roof needs repair, it's the landlord's responsibility. No exposure to real estate market risks. Renters are insulated from the fluctuations and risks of the real estate market. They don't have to worry about property values, interest rates, or market downturns. Access to amenities. Many rental properties, especially apartments in urban areas, offer amenities such as fitness centers, swimming pools, and concierge services that will be costly for homeowners. But renting isn't without its potential drawbacks. Now here are the cons of renting. No equity building. When you pay rent, the money goes into your landlord's pocket, not towards building equity as it would with a mortgage payment. This means you aren't investing in a long-term asset. Rent increases. Unlike a fixed mortgage payment, your rent can, and often does, increase each year. This lack of control over housing costs can make budgeting more challenging and can lead to affordability issues in areas where rents are rising rapidly. Limited personalization. Renters are subject to the rules and regulations set by their landlords. This often means restrictions on how much you can personalize your living space. Want to paint the walls a new color or replace the old carpet? You'll need the landlord's permission. Instability. While home ownership offers stability, renting can be less secure. You're at the mercy of your landlord's decisions. They could decide to sell the property, stop renting, or not renew your lease, requiring you to find a new place to live with relatively short notice. Variable utility costs. In some rental agreements, the cost of utilities is not included in the rent and can vary each month, making it harder to budget. Renting offers flexibility and fewer responsibilities than owning a home, but it also lacks long-term financial benefits like building equity. Your individual circumstances, financial goals, and personal preferences will largely determine whether renting or buying is the right decision for you. Factors to consider when making your decision. Choosing between renting or buying a home isn't merely a matter of numbers. It's an intensely personal choice that closely relates to your current life circumstances and financial standing. As you ponder over the pros and cons of both options, it's important to pay close attention to these key factors. They might just help you make up your mind. Financial readiness. Thinking about your financial stability is pretty key here. Have you squirreled away enough for a down payment if you decide to buy? Remember, owning a house isn't just about the initial purchase. It comes with its own set of ongoing expenses like property taxes, insurance, upkeep, and sometimes pesky homeowners association fees. On the other side, if you're looking at renting, the upfront costs are usually more manageable, but you might be hit with annual rent hikes. And don't forget about that renter's insurance. It's a must-have, too. If you want to know if you're doing well financially, you can check one of our videos. Link is in the description box below. Factor 2. Stability versus Flexibility Another significant factor to consider is your lifestyle and what you value more, stability or flexibility. 
Buying a home can provide a sense of stability, continuity, and community involvement. It can also be beneficial for families looking to settle down in a particular school district. Conversely, if your career or lifestyle requires you to be mobile or if you're not quite ready to put down roots, renting offers the flexibility to move without the hassle of selling a home. Factor 3. Market Conditions The nature of the housing and rental scene where you're looking to live can greatly influence your choice. Imagine, for instance, landing in a hot seller's market. This is where potential homeowners far outnumber the houses up for grabs. The competition can send the price of buying a house through the roof, which might tilt the scales in favor of renting as a more budget-friendly option. Conversely, in a buyer's market blessed with a glut of homes for sale, it might make better financial sense to buy. The local rental landscape plays a crucial role, too. In those buzzing cities where rent is steadily climbing, buying could end up being the more economical choice, especially if you're planning to stick around for a good few years. Factor 4. Homeownership Responsibilities Owning a home comes with responsibilities beyond the financial commitment. Maintenance, repairs, and improvements all fall onto the homeowner's shoulders. This can be time-consuming and expensive, but also offers the opportunity for customization and increased property value. Renters, however, generally have fewer responsibilities, as landlords typically handle repairs and maintenance. Factor 5. Long-Term Financial Goals Consider your long-term financial goals. If building equity and potentially profiting from the sale of your home aligns with your objectives, buying might be the right choice for you. However, if you value investing your money elsewhere, like in stocks or starting a business, the lower initial cost of renting could serve you better. There are more goals and rules you should consider, and we have one video that can help you with that. Check out our video about the rules of money that will also make you rich. Link is in the description box. Factor 6. Emotional Factors Finally, let's not overlook the role our emotions play. The deep satisfaction and pride that come with owning your own home can be incredibly fulfilling. There's something special about having a space that's solely yours. But remember, renting too has its perks. The freedom it offers, along with fewer responsibilities, can provide a great sense of tranquility to many. In conclusion, deciding whether to rent or buy is a significant decision with far-reaching implications. As American financial author Dave Ramsey said, the decision to buy a home is not just about affordability, it's also about your quality of life. This principle applies to renting too. Both choices have merits and downsides, and what works best for you depends on your unique circumstances, values, and goals. Don't rush the decision. Take your time, do your research, and consider seeking advice from financial professionals. And remember, whether you decide to rent or buy, the important thing is finding a place you can call home. How about you? Which would you prefer, buying or renting? Share it in the comments below. So there you have it. Now it's your turn to take action. Get started by calculating how much you can afford, researching the local market, and discussing with a real estate professional. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more advice on navigating the real estate world. Remember, whether you decide to buy or rent, the most important thing is to make a decision that aligns with your personal and financial goals. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.